I guess one thing I can talk about while just doing this, uh, oh nice, uh, is, you know, I, I kind of, like, kind of alluded to it, like, during, like, the, uh, last session, I think, like, I think it was, like, during, like, when I was, like, exploring the third island, um, I talked about how it's, like, kind of silly to, silly to what worry so much about a game's length when we have so many things coming out. Um, and I kind of want to add on to that a little bit because, you know, there's definitely problems I have with, like, uh, the publishers. I, 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 I like, like, there's issues I have with, like, uh, Sony, Nintendo, Microsoft, and all that. Like, what is it? Nintendo seem to just hate their consumers a lot of the time uh, and seem to just make up issues for themselves that really don't need to be there. And Microsoft have, an issue, have a problem, especially recently, of um, yeah, you should probably not be so close to an al to that allocator Sonic. <laughs> um, but um, there's... Um, what is it? Yeah, Microsoft have an issue of just wanting to buy every company known to man. And then they just kind of do nothing. They they don't really do anything with them. Like, they buy them, and then they just kind of... They just kind of collect dust. <laughs> um, and like, they, like, Microsoft need to... Okay, so, like... Nintendo, Nintendo need to... Be more consumer-friendly and not... Be such dicks all the, all the time to their fans. Microsoft needs to stop buying every company under the sun and like actually start making games and make making use of the of the stuff they have now. <laughs> um, uh, like actually actually start doing stuff with the with the IPs you own instead of just buying more and then doing nothing with them. Um, and uh, and so, I don't know. So, Sony's I, I feel like, like Sony's not done like I mean. I can't really, I can't think of anything offhand, but I mean, I mean, so I mean, Sony def, Sony's definitely done some like weird stuff, like uh, getting rid of like Japanese studios or something, and yeah, that's not great. Uh, but you know, point is like the big three like have all gone through their ups and downs, and they, they all, I all, ha I have issues with like all three of them, but. Beyond that, like, ignoring that, like, issues I have with, like, companies and stuff like that, that, that whatever. Um, I don't, I don't dwell on that stuff as, as much as other people do, because, you know, there's a bunch of games coming out of multiple, of, of like, tons of different genres, and we're just kind of spoiled for choice nowadays, to the fact, to the point where, like, yeah, like, I, I don't, care about this stuff that much in the long run because there's so much to play and there's constantly more games coming out that like nice what the hell is an acorn doing in the ocean or like this pond uh there's so many games coming out and there's and we like every pretty much every genre gets new games now it's like it's like i can't be bothered to focus so much of my energy on uh, like the small, like the um, the bad stuff. Uh, like obviously, I'm gonna, I'll have words to say about it. Like I'm not gonna like have a blind eye towards that stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say like the um, like what like the stuff that's like questionable and that like, needs to be changed, like in the industry, but. Uh, you know, again, there's so many games. To, there's so many games to play of multiple different genres, and like the things are coming out constantly. And I, like, there's no nice. Uh, like, there, there's never a point where there's nothing to play. Uh, like, there, there's points where like I don't know what to play, but like it's not the same thing as like. There's just nothing to play because there's there's always like it, it like um I don't, I don't really know where, where I'm going with this 
uh, statement, but like, I don't know. I I feel like I feel like we just, I feel like we generally have it really good. Like there's stuff about modern gaming that I'm not a fan of, but I feel like overall, it's in a, it's in a really good place. At least for the most part. Inside. But obviously, again, like there's uh, issues that I don't. First. Like, th there's door. issues in the industry that I really don't like, but, um, in terms of, like, game, like, games and content and all that, like, I think, I, I really do think Enemy we're eating really good. For now, we must focus on the task at hand. Use your power to start the system. Hurry, our time is limited. Or not. Right, let's do it. So, yeah, I, I kind of just want to talk about, about that a little bit because I I know I know some people that uh, don't like modern gaming and I mean like that's just fine like you do you but um, I, 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 just, I I can't agree with the notion that like modern gaming is like mostly bad outside of indie games because like that I, I just can't agree with that period because like, like there's a bunch of great games coming out that are like not like they're like and, and uh, they're not all indie stuff. There, there's like a bunch of AAA games and like, or not, not even just that, but like just games in general that are like just of like really high quality you now, like nowadays. And again, we're just we're like spoiled for choice. Like, there's so many games you can play, and I feel like uh, what is it? What, what I what I've learned over the years is that like it's just what, once you stop worrying about the stuff that. Um, the stuff that upsets you and like the stuff that like you don't enjoy you're gonna be so much happier like like since we're like on the subject of gaming specifically you're gonna be so much happier as a gamer if you just focus on the the games and the drums that you enjoy and play and that and just uh uh and play the stuff that interest interests you and like you know obviously like play more games like if you want to like uh play more genres that you haven't touched before to uh, uh, increase your gaming palette, if you want to call it that, uh, then yeah, that, that's also a good idea. But like, it's like, the point is, focus on the games and the and the uh, genres and the stuff that interests you. Don't fo I, I feel like it, it's kind of pointless to worry so much about uh, genres and game series and what, what have you that doesn't interest you because like you're just wasting your energy on things you don't like and it's pointless i feel like j just okay hold on <laughs> i'm trying not to die here uh uh yeah just focus on the stuff you enjoy and, and less on the stuff that you don't it's like it's not helping anyone like doing like doing that because like you know not every game is going to be for everyone and not every uh, genre is gonna be for everyone, so just get off your high horse for a second. Uh, stop worrying about that stuff so much, and just play the stuff you enjoy, old and new. Like I, I feel, I feel like it's kind of silly to, uh, do, like put labels on like on gaming in that way. Like just, I don't care if a game's new or old. I care if it's something I enjoy playing. That that's literally it. Come. Nice. So earlier you said I had zero chances <laughs> of winning. Change your mind yet? No. But I have not run a simulation on our present circumstances either. Ah, oh, yeah. So you're saying there maybe is a chance. I am saying we are in a desperate situation. The threat we face is beyond imagination. Hey. If there's even a 1% chance I can turn that despair of yours into hope, I won't disappoint. <laughs> yeah, I just want to get the get that off my chest because, you know, I, I keep, I, I see stuff like, oh, modern gaming sucks and it's like, I, I just can't agree. I'm sorry. I, I just, there's no way I can agree with that. Like, if we're talking about modern gaming, uh, in terms of the, uh, like, stuff behind the scenes, like, companies and stuff, then yeah, it sucks, but I, gotta hurry up. I don't want to focus all my energy on that, so it's like, 
Like, a lot of this, like, stuff that happens behind the scenes, like, developers getting crunched, developers being treated unfairly, and, uh, all that stuff. Like, yeah, it sucks. I'm not gonna, con like, I'm, I'm not gonna, like, like, what is it? I'm not gonna condone any of that stuff. But, like, oh, nice. Uh, I'm not gonna, gonna say any of that's okay. Um, and, like, yeah, like, publishers and companies, like, they, they need to do better. But, that, also, I like how he just loses his glasses and all that. Like, yeah, all that stuff sucks, don't get me wrong, but that's not what I play games for. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna play, like, play a game and be like, oh, the, the, the developers, like, had, like, prob, like, problems, um, and all that. Like, I'm, I, that's, and I'm not gonna be like, oh, I'm, I'm, I can't enjoy this game now, this sucks. Like, I, I, that's stupid. Again, I'm not going to say it's okay, but I, I'm i not going to play a game and be like, and, and determine its quality based on how the developers were, uh, like, treated. Like, I don't know. Again, I'm not saying that, like, we, we, can't, we can't have a conversation, like, about this stuff where it's like, like, what should and shouldn't be done in the industry, but, um, th there's a point where, like, how do I, okay, well, okay, I guess I need to take care of these. Um, There comes a point where, like, it you need you need to take a step step back and just realize what 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 do you actually enjoy about gaming? Like, if you're literally if you uh, focusing like all your energy on like the stuff you don't like, like wh why why are you why are you even playing a get, like games at this po at that point? What am I doing? How do I avoid this? I need to get rid of these things. What the heck? I don't, I don't know if that run made any sense to anyone, but, yeah. <laughs> it's just stuff I've wanted to get off my chest for a while. a little dot on the thing. <laughs> How do I... How'd you avoid that? I don't understand. I 
I don't understand that attack. Yeah, it always does that. They don't parry, I guess. I feel like I'm doing this completely wrong. Oh god, okay, I guess I'm done. Alright, cool. That felt like a really awkward fight. I. I like it's just the fancier version of, was it Giganto? I'm sorry. So we're going into fun funnity stuff now or Is that it? All we did was chase it out of its shell. It's retreating into space to regain its true form. Even Supersonic won't be able to stop it. I know what I must do. I must... leave you. I understand. Go. Fulfill your function. I do enjoy seeing this more like human side of Eggman. He's not just Before it regains its full strength. Ladies first. He's not just a bad dude. <laughs> I appreciate that. Alright, so Ikaruga time? The voice acting in this game is so much better than before, or previous games. Like, there's actual, like... Like, pure emotion in the voices. He took your home world. He took your lives. 
Are you going to let him do it all over again? I need your help. We can end this. Please. Yeah, eager a good time. Two enemy. Yeah, yeah, okay, we... <laughs> I love that this is actually... <laughs> <laughs> this visual is beautiful, by the way. Oh my god! And, like, I I love a good space like backdrop. Let's do it. Oh jeez. I'm just gonna go and focus mode now. Countless stars, countless worlds. Countless lives. You start all over again as you die. I know that from videos and stuff, and I what people have complained about with this. So, yeah, I definitely want to focus on this right now. If I first try this, I'll it's really amazing. I again, I play my Toho. I I know, I I, I know what I'm doing with the, with this gameplay. So. Yeah. You have fought machines and gods. They were mighty. They were finite. I am infinite. Oh crap! I was doing I am okay. nothing. Using the right style. As so many have done before. Oh, God. I'm like, yeah, this is definitely reminding me of Toho right now. Oh god, what is this? Oh! Dang it! Okay, whatever. Oh, I, okay, I have three lives. I thought there was only two. Oh my god. My captors built a whole reality to contain me. My captors burned their souls away to fuel their engines. Oh. And you. This is really scary. <laughs> oh god, oh god. No. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Mortal, you have served your purpose. Fine, let's do it again. Now face your end. <sighs> so yeah, the voice we heard this whole time was the villain. Oh boy. What can one note of golden light illuminate within this? Countless stars, countless worlds, countless lives. Yeah, screw commentary, I'm just gonna focus. All fell to me. All brought to nothing. Oh crap, crap, crap. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, infinite, no! Had enough of that from the last game. You 
Oh, is that the end of the uh, dialogue? Alright, let's do it. There's definitely a, like, kind of a crazy difficulty spike for people who don't play these kinds of games. This is... Oh my god. It's quite the endurance. Okay. Woo. I can't say I hate it though. I I, I like this because uh, I'm into this these kind of games. But I can definitely like, understand why... Okay. I can definitely understand why some people really don't like this. Ah! I need to stop talking, I'm distracting myself. <laughs> so close. You glitter. You fly about me like a gnat. I am inevitable. Alright, Thanos, calm down. Denied. You strike this incarnation with all your might. It changes nothing. Oh, we'll see about that. Oh god! You are not brave. You are not victorious. No matter what form I take. Oh! God, what is this? Oh, please. Don't die now. What is this? Oh my god! I'm freaking out. Oh! Uh! Please. Be nice. Why do you still have so much- The end comes for you all. Oh my god, okay. Okay, are we done? Oh crap. No. Crap. Crap. Okay. <laughs> that was really bad. Yes.
please look after father. Game. <gasps> Woohoo! Yes. All right. Well, I guess that's how we're ending it. All right. Whew. Well, that was. I'm still trying to. I'm still kind of. Interesting theme. Um. I'm still kind of recovering from that fight. Yeah, I, pr I I said all, like, everything I could about the game, really. I think this is a, a good a step in the right direction for the series. Um, I'm definitely interested to see what they do for the future. Like, if they're going to keep doing this, like, open zone style. Um, I want to say, like, I... I I think, yeah, I think it's on the right track. I feel like, um, the, um, I do like the idea of like, having a bunch of puzzles and obstacle courses around the, like, the, the, like, open zones and, like, the islands and all that, but they, there's, they definitely have, like, like, ways, some ways to go. I would, I, I would have definitely appreciate it more if, like, instead of having, like, these platforms suspended midair, like, it was, like, platforming, um, that felt more organic, I guess. Um, and I definitely feel like this is nowhere near like the the um, the highest quality like th this style can be. Like th this can be definitely be imp improved on like substantially. And I hope that Frontiers 2 or whatever the next 3D game ends up being does exactly that. They they definitely improved on things through the two updates and hopefully update three like does that as well um yeah I, I i definitely enjoy my time in this game i uh again it's not my favorite it's not my favorite sonic game but it's a you know it's, it's a i think it's a shake up that the series needed um i feel like if we're gonna do cyberspace or like action stages in the next game i i for, for starters make them original stages like don't reuse green hill chemical plant sky sanctuary again and also, don't rehash level design from previous games. It was, I, I, it's, it was kind of neat seeing like, like going through a stage and fit and going like, oh yeah, this this was uh, from Metal Harbor. This was Sky Rail, or this was like, uh, I don't know, to stay like Chunan from Unleashed or whatever. Um, like that, that's that. This stuff is kind of cool, but I definitely would prefer unique level design in the next game uh but yeah I, I i think i think they have a good um general like game flow with this one like you get stuff in the in the open in the open world stuff or, or like the islands you do some cyberspace stuff and you like get more 
tokens to unlock cutscenes and kill and the emeralds and you know I, I and I, I will say this like this is not my favorite story either but like th this is like a massive massive step up from the story and the dialogue and everything from the previous games like you saw how I mean I don't know I don't know if you're just watching this playthrough but like it, during the like lost world like forces and to a lesser extent generations because like, it doesn't matter as much in that in that game but you you like I, I was like really down on the stories in those two games in, in particular and um yeah again this is not my favorite story in the series but like it's so much better than those like there's actual you, you can like feel the emotion in the dialogue like the the voice actors uh did a really good like the the the, the voice direction in this game is just so much better uh and yeah oh, okay that i get that's a really short credit sequence but yeah I, I, overall though i say i i, I like the game so, quite quite a bit um i i'm intri intrigued in what they're gonna do with the future of the series <laughs> face um but i guess it's time we got moving i know you all have big plans i also hardly recognize me when we see each other again name you drops in a second yeah, Styx is in. Uh, Styx is um, part of the main continuity now, I guess. Uh, We're wasting daylight. Let's go. Yeah, it's kind of a low-key ending for like what just happened, but you know, I guess whatever. <laughs> um, your point is though, um, I'm definitely excited for Sonic's future. Oh, that's more credits. Um, I, again, I'm interested. I'm just interested to see like what where they take things from here, because yeah, this just basically just feels like the beginning, uh, and yeah, yeah. I, I I hope they have more what what, what other things like I hope for like future games that the uh, design of each island is more diverse than it was here. Like they, they had their different the islands had their differences and all that, but the a lot of architecture and like design did carry over between the the five islands, and I would like to see more diversity in the next game. Um, and I'd al I'd also like more diversity in terms of level uh, bio like biomes as well. Like I'd like to see I like to see like an ice world, maybe a casino like full casino island, or maybe a full uh, city island and like, like or city and city environment and stuff like that. Like I, I definitely like more diversity there. Like. I like a more challenging ex experience in general as well. Like I, I do, I do again. I do like that there's a bunch of challenges throughout the islands, but a lot of them were very simple and like not challenging in the slightest. So I definitely like the difficulty to be ramped up quite a bit, just to you know make things more exciting and like you know not as like. <laughs> I'm trying not to say brain dead because it sounds mean, but yeah, a lot of the challenges were like really stupidly easy. <laughs> so I definitely like improvements on that department. But I guess in the, in this game's case, it, it it's like it gives you a simple thrill of like doing a simple thing, moving on to, and then doing it quickly, and then moving on to the next thing. Like th this game definitely has a a uh, consistent flow because of its low difficulty. So I like that's definitely like. A positive toward towards it as well but for my preference specifically i definitely prefer the the, the, the the next game to amp up the difficulty and its challenges and um i definitely like more long form platforming sequences as well like we had in the fourth island i i definitely like more of that kind of stuff uh and yeah yeah that's pretty much uh i do I know if there's anything? Oh, nice. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else I can say. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Like, I, I'm, like again, like like I was saying earlier, I this is not my favorite soundtrack. I get why peop some people love it so much, and you know, I I really liked. Um, most of the supersonic themes 
Um, again, like, Screamer stuff isn't usually my thing. Uh, and I wasn't really big on, like, I think it was Island 2's Supersonic theme that I wasn't big on, because it was just, it, 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 it just felt like, like, over the top Screamer stuff, and I'm not really interested in that kind of music. Um, but, like, Island 1 and Island 3 Supersonic themes, I enjoy quite a bit. Uh, and, like, I, I enjoy EDM stuff, but it's not something I want to hear for, like, every stage. <laughs> um, and I prefer soundtracks from pre previous Sonic games, where, like, it felt it felt like the, the uh, each track was made specifically for a stage's environment. Uh, whereas in this game, it just feels like it just felt like, you know, it's good music. I, I enjoyed listening to it, but it doesn't really, like, the, it, what is it? I, I can't really differentiate what each cyberspace track sounded like. like or, like, or mostly, like, I can't really say which track, did, like, um, belongs to which stage. Um, and it's like, I don't know, I, I just prefer how it, I, I just prefer the, mu the uh, music style in previous games, especially since I feel like the styles in previous games are more diverse. Like, I, I don't want every stage to just be EDM or like hip hop or or, or like uh, just you know. Like maybe for a, like a couple stages, but definitely not like the whole game. But yeah, either way though, I Morio Kishimoto, like you're doing God, <laughs> you're doing God's work, dude. But yeah, they. I I had a good time with it with the game. Oh yeah. Say so just coming back, yeah. Yeah, that is nice. I, I do like, I, yeah, I do like the relationship with uh, Eggman and Sage in this game as well. Like actually showing his uh, like fatherly side and like, I, like actually like giving Eggman more depth than just he's the bad guy. I appreciate. I, I do appreciate that a lot. Uh, so nice. Okay. Let's see this. Oh, okay. Uh, arcade mode. Hmm. I like how, like, these... Th these have all the stages, even though I didn't actually get all of them. <laughs> um, I think that's all of them anyway. But yeah, I, I'm... I I'd say I'm happy with the game overall. Um, yeah. I got nothing. I don't really have anything else to say. I think that pretty pretty much sums it up. Um, yeah, I think the Sonic series is uh, in a good position for once. I, I think the future. I think the future is looking pretty bright right now. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. So, thanks for watching the Sonic Frontiers playthrough. And at some point, whenever Update Three comes out with a character DLC, I'll you know, get back to, uh, do, like, finish off this play, finish off this playthrough for good with that, but for now, that's, that's gonna be it, so, yeah, after, like, a year, not, not, not a year, like, hot, like, over half a year, um, I'm finally done with this game, and, uh, moving on to other things, and that will happen shortly after this playthrough gets uploaded, but for now, yeah, that's going to be it. So, yeah, again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.